guys, welcome to NSJC Vaping. I'm Mark and this is Perry. Hi guys. So we've got the iJoy Limitless XL tank. Yep. And RTA section, which is yeah, weird. Know, it, it is weird. It Very is weird. weird. I'm gonna find that. I'm. Gonna, I am gonna find that weird. But I ho I'm hoping this is gonna force me into building. Yeah, I think it should. I I'm, think I'm more of a coil guy, so I'm gonna give the coil a go first. I've got to really. I am. I am the coil man. Um, and you know, I mean, it's it's weird to look at this uh, before we jump down and have a look. Um, I really didn't know anything about this at all. No. I, I literally, I mean, I'd seen and I'd looked at the Limitless um, RDTA Plus. Um, so I, you know, I saw that. I didn't, I didn't know this. There was a few that popped up, and then bang! All of a sudden, we, we've got it, and yeah. we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go through it. So without further ado, let's just jump down and get into it. Hi guys, Mark here, NSJC Vaping. So, yep. Got the Limitless XL tank here. Uh, this is a collaboration between iJoy and Limitless. So um, yeah, uh, just looking at the overall packaging, uh, looks pretty good. Um, got the scratch and check code on the back, cellophane still on it, uh, no damage at all. So let's uh, get the cellophane off and see what's inside the box. Let's get this sleeve off, yep. As we said, that is a scratch code. Anything you need to know is on the back, all the specs. We'll put that to one side. Let's get in and have a look. Yeah, so yeah, it's got like a nice felty finish on the uh, on the box there. Um, so what do we get with it? So obviously we get some glass, um, replacement glass. We get some cotton, we get some O-rings, some screws, and by the looks of it, a little 510. Um, drip tip in there, got this big, big tank, um, massive, massive airflows, um, uh, spring-loaded 510, is it spring-loaded? Actually, it's not sprung-loaded, but it is very, very protruding. What have we got in the top? This looks like an adapter for the uh, re replaceable drip tip that you get. Uh, we've got a base here. Oh, everything's in there very well. So this is a dual post, comes with a very nice uh, fused, looks like a dual fused Clapton then wrapped in a ribbon in their double post setup here. It looks really, really nice actually uh, with a um, screw top. So yeah, it looks very nice. Look, loving the, uh, the uh, build quality there. It looks really silky smooth. Yeah, really like that. Let's set that to one side. Um, so in the next one, we've got, oh wow, yeah, so it's a velocity style deck, um, and these look like just standard fuse claptons in there, um, yeah, again, just need to be pinched together and heated up, but again, you know, really deep juice wells in there, um, uh, yeah, looks really, really nice, actually, nice, uh, gold plated, um, um, connection point there, um, yeah, looks really, really nice, again, no rough, rough edges in there which is uh, always good to see everything screws together nicely so it's really nice to actually give you both both decks uh, that's what you get inside so yeah single coil dual coil screwdrivers replaceable glass um, adapter for 510 and drip tip and your bag of goodies so yeah let's what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna run it a little bit closer uh, we're going to take it apart and um, show you each individual part. Yeah guys, so uh, we've got the tank um, completely disassembled now. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it up, but as we build it up, like we always do, we're going to take a close inspection to each and every part and uh, just see the quality and just uh, have a look. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So this is the airflow control base. Um, uh, like I said earlier, I, I thought it maybe it was... Uh, spring uh, spring load it's not it's just a uh, protruding 510 so it just goes straight through the middle of the uh, the base there um, just having a look uh, you know at the threads here and this big o-ring here no rough edges no burrs or anything on here looks pretty decent what I will say though is the, the airflow on this thing's really cool it's like a fan um, a little, like a like a rotor blade there so it spins and turns so obviously as it's sitting on your mod uh, nice and level like this you have all this airflow uh, times three um, and I really like that it's nice it's not too stiff and it's not too loose it's, it's really good I like that 
Um, so um, the next thing really, we'll just pop that down for one moment. Next thing I want to talk to you about before we start building is the deck options for this um, for this tank. So, like I said earlier, you know you've got you've got these really cool um, RTA um, style decks, uh, and in here's we've got the Fuse Clapton's Velocity style again. You know, really silkily smooth, uh, nice 510 on the bottom there um, and yeah no no sort of main issues there at all everything looks pretty looks uh, looks like it could be uh, not not too bad at all decent place to stick the wick so yeah really really quite quite nice actually that's the uh, the dual post very nice uh, and then we have the uh, uh, dual post here for your single base course and I'm just loving this. It looks like a fuse clapped and uh, but then been wrapped with some flat wire but again really really uh, really really nice actually I think it's, uh, it's it's just been finished off so well it really has. I'm really really amazed by this it's, it's just really really decent so that is your uh, two post um, and this is this absolute monstrous coil um, and it's it's rated from 50 to 215 watts. It's a 0.15 ohm coil, uh, but it's huge. I mean, coils nowadays just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But the main difference of this is this has got like a little circuit board on the bottom. So I can only imagine when you actually put this through and it sits on the uh, on the base and makes a connection. Uh, this is going to light up. So you're going to get a cool light at the bottom. I like that. Uh, and again, yeah. Really, really uh, nicely finished off, no bears or anything. So we're going to stick the coil in. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure the 510's pushed all the way up. And we're going to spin the coil on to the bottom like so, just until it nips up. Uh, we're going to put this down and then we're going to take our... Um, it's, I'm not entirely sure what to call this, so I'm just going to call it like a little cool cage kind of thing and this sits over the top of the coil inside. It just looks really wicked. The glass slides over, you've got an o-ring at the bottom so make sure that's seated. It sits over like so and then you've got your chimney section uh, and then you've got a, another o-ring on the bottom here and you've got a big o-ring that um, seals onto the, uh, the glass and that just screws together like so. It's a little bit fiddly because you're trying to grab hold of the glass but you want to keep going. It becomes easier when you put the whole lot on. So once you've got this section built, you can then take your um, base, uh, air base section and your coil and you can screw these together like so. And that screws all the way down and then because you can grab hold of this bit here, you can, it will just, everything will just nip up just like so. Um, and then last but not least, so this is the attachment here. If you want to screw this in, all this does, screws onto the top and then allows you to put all your custom drip tips that you've got on this 5 tip. 510 drip tip adapter. So uh, but what we'll do is we'll leave that off. We're going to put this sucker on purely because it's cool and I like it. So we're just going to stick that on. I'm just going to check it all, make sure everything's fine. Um, yeah, so overall it looks really good. No rough edges. Really like it. It looks really exciting and new style tank. Nothing that sort of really seen before. Uh, but we're going to jump up, we're going to juice it up, and then we're going to vape it, and then we're going to tell you what we think. Hi guys, welcome back up. So yeah, that was the iJoy Limitless uh, XL tank. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, the little demonstration, yeah, a little no build up there, brother. Um, so we've had uh, we've had this coil sitting here for about an hour now. Mm. Um, so yeah, because it is such a large coil, we wanted to give it ample time to, you know, get saturated, get all that juice up. So yeah, um, my first impressions are that it's another one that gets hot, but. That's because of the coil, so you know it's you're not going to get absolutely. I mean, it's 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 quad vertically stacked, Clapton yeah. by the look, by the looks of what I can see. Um, so it's it's generating some serious heat in there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is, and I think that will probably rectify itself with the rebuildable sections for it, which I possibly may have a go at. This man's hoping I do. Yeah, um, he will. So <laughs> forced into it. Um, so yeah, let's have a vape and see how it's looking. First of all, while he's having a vape, the red lights look cool. You can actually see it coming through the tank. Can you? Yeah, hold on, I'll do it. You do it. Yeah, look, look through like the side. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, the red yeah. lights are cool. The red lights are good. Um, so yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like it. I mean, I've just noticed this. Uh, this drip tip just doesn't sit particularly flush. Oh no, it's just not. To be is put, it? Just to be putting it out there. A bit nitpicky. It's it's uh, maybe a little bit. I'd expect to see something a little bit better. There, yeah, to be honest. It did. Um, it did actually. When we were putting that on, we did think, oh, it's just something that an afterthought because the wide bore tip that you put on. That really does get really hot. And so there, is, there is there is definitely some evidence of it leaking a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, there is. But I don't know whether that's embedded in. Uh, I've had tanks know. before that have just leaked a little bit while they're bedding in. The yeah. O-rings are getting yeah, it's used possible. to everything. It's possible. You know? Yeah, um, but it's, you can see it's wicking well. It's uh, but yeah, it's big. It's nice. Uh, it's something different, which it is I like. Different, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it is a bit of a shame that we can use a top cap. Yeah, because it, it does just, look cool. It does it, it just, just get too hot, but you know, um, I probably will change it up and use it from time to time. But yeah, it's definitely not a tank that you can chain vape. No chain vaping on this sucker. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, thanks ever so much for the support, Thank guys. Thank you so much, guys. Take care and vape on. Vape on strong.